Welcome back. Uh, this is going to be a fairly short video. I, I don't want to have too much content in this video, but what I want to do in this one is I want to just quickly show you how to install a new theme in your WordPress blog. And then in the next video what we'll do is we'll get into customizing that theme. And that's just in case somebody decides not to go with the theme that I'm going to install here. And so in your dashboard we're going to come down to appearance and I'm going to click on themes. Okay, so it says here, here's my current theme. It's the, the 2010. This is a standard theme. And what I want to do is I want to install themes. Okay, now before we do this, on this screen here. Now you can search for other themes if you don't want to use the theme that I'm going to recommend to you today. So all you do is you just come in here and you search by term or you can come and you can and you can filter out. So if you want one that's got a certain color scheme or that's got a certain column set up, well then you can search for all the free themes that Word, WordPress offers. There's thousands of them, literally thousands of them. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to recommend a theme to you that I really like and it's called Flexibility Ability 3. So I'm just going to search for that. <clears throat> okay, and it's going to come up Flexibility Theme for WordPress. Okay. So now, right on the very first tab here, there's a link here to download Flexibility 3. So download the, the theme. It comes in a zip file. Do not unzip it. You don't need to unzip it, but just remember where it downloads to. Mine automatically downloads into my downloads directory. So wherever you automatically download files to, okay, you're going to need to remember that. Okay, so just go ahead and download that. I've already got it on my computer, so I don't want to download it again. And it's not really going to do much at this point anyway. It just throws the file onto your computer. And then you, once you've downloaded it, come back over to Install Themes. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to upload the theme. So click Upload. And this is why you needed to remember where that file is stored because what we're going to do is we're going to install a theme in zip format. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the file that I want to install. Now, I'm pretty sure that that stuck this into my downloads directory. And there it is right there, flexibility 3. I'm just going to open. So now it says flexibility3.zip, so this should have been the file that you downloaded. And all you're going to do is you're going to go install now. And you're going to give it a second. What it's doing is it's loading those files up to your blog. Okay, theme installed successfully. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to activate it, because I know I want to use this theme. I've used it before. It's a very good theme. Okay, so now I haven't done anything to it, but now what I can do is I can come back over to my preview, go refresh, and boom, new theme on my WordPress blog. That's how easy it is. Okay, now what I really like about flexibility is you can change anything in this theme. I can I can take out this top header, I can leave it in and I can modify it, I can completely change my header, I can change the column, I can change the footers, you can change the colors, you can change just about everything and it's so easy to do. So that's what we're going to go through in the next video. So get your theme set up and we will see you in a few minutes.